Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be ranking the Polytopian tribes uh, on this tier list. So, we're going to start off with Aquarion. And this is based off of their flexibility, kind of how it's not a specific map. So, it would be on ev if how they would perform as an average on every map, on every play, uh, on every size. So... Start off with Aquarion, and they are horrible. I do not like Aquarion. I think they are pretty bad. Simanti, on the other hand, are one of the best. Uh, I put them in good because I don't think they're, like, the best. Because the best is Barter and Imperius. They are both turn zero tribes, meaning they can upgrade their capital on the first turn. So that's really good. Simanti cannot do that, but Simanti are really good. Their weakness is like Water World. They're really bad on Water World. Then we have Illyrion, neutral. They're okay. Their enchanting is kind of good. They're good on smaller maps, but and larger maps too. I just don't think they're that good. Hudrick, they're a bit better than Aquarion. Uh, they just have good like forest stuff. And they're archers, and I just like the aesthetic of them. Kiku, they're good as well, but they're not that good on like dry lands, whereas Barter and Imperius are pretty much good on any map. Kiku are better than Barter and Imperius if it's a water map, but if it's not, then they're not as good. Luxador, again, neutral. They're they were really good, but not anymore. They can adapt, which I like, but they don't start with the tech, so. I'd say Omaji's pretty bad, just be, well, yeah, just compared to, like, these, I'd say they're not that great. They start with Riders, but they're easily countered, just, like, one knight can take out their entire army. Polaris are good, especially late game. Early game, they're really bad, but they can still, like, freeze and have easy access to battle sleds, which are pretty powerful. Gwitzali. Um, sorry, Quetzali friends on the Discord server, but neutral, they're not that good. They have early access to cloaks, which I like, but I don't think they're a good tribe in terms of competitive. Amo are, I'm going to put them in bad because they have, they're, I feel like their technology they start with isn't real, doesn't really help them that much. They can rush mind benders, but I mean, like, Again, with the Omaji, one knight can take out an entire Mindbender spam. Like, you can't... It's almost impossible to Mindbend a knight. Okay, then we have Vinger. Uh, neutral. They're, they're pretty good. They're like Quetzali's opposite. Quetzali start with shields. Vinger start with swords. Except, not really. Their gameplay style is totally different. Well, that, that would make them opposites. So, yeah. Vinger have horrible economy... And but I think they're like better than Amo and Omaji just because they actually have pretty good late game. Xenigzi, uh, I don't like them as well just because I've never played them, so I don't know how good they are. They have climbing, which gives them like I mean, that will give them defense bonus and exploration buffs, but I don't think they're that good. Yadak, I'd say they're a good tribe, they have speed, speed's useful. They're like a better version of Omaji because um, warriors with roads, that gives you population. And if a warrior has the speed of a rider, that's just a better stat rider because it has two defense. And then finally, Zabasti, they're also good. They're pretty much the same as these guys right here, except their stuff is a bit more expensive, but it only takes up one tile. They're just, I mean, the power of the Zabasti's economy is really strong. But the Imperious with their fruit leads directly to cloaks, and the barter leads straight to catapults or archers, whereas the Zabasti's farming just leads to windmills, which just boosts what they already have. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, this is my opinion on how the tribes of Polytopia are on a tier list. Please like and subscribe, and I'm going to make a stranded video tomorrow.